Hello, my name is Matt Ogborn and in this video I'll be showing you the Dynamic eBay Feedback Widget. So this widget has been really been inspired by you for you and there's a picture of myself. My name is Matt Ogborn and I'm from thelastdropofink.co.uk and it's my goal to turn e-commerce into plain English. Now in this video I'll be talking about this widget which you can see on the right hand side of your screen and I'll be showing you what this widget is over to the right, how you can get it for free and why you may want to upgrade to the paid version. Okay, so moving on. Uh, and again, I know your time is really important to you, so I'm going to pack as much as I can into a short space of time for you. Okay, so let's not muck around. And here's the widget. And again, uh, I've just chosen this eBay ID at random. Um, that could be your eBay account, which we're looking at right now in that widget. So at the top, we can see that for Gardener's Dream UK, is that the, the, there's a link there to their account. We can see their feedback score. We can see their eBay star. We can see that they're a top rated seller and they've got an eBay store. Now, if they do or if they did have an About Me page, then the icon would appear there as well. Um, and again, in the configure, more configurable option, you can choose to show the reviewer link as well. Okay, so you can see your eBay feedback scores and status, which is updated automatically. We can see the latest five eBay feedbacks from buyers. So in this case, we can see this seller's feedbacks. If it was your eBay account, we would be seeing your eBay feedback on here, which buyers have been leaving for you. And a really important note that, that this widget is hard coded never to show neutral or negative comments in this box. It would be unfair for them to show uh, to, to new customers uh, so quickly because you'd not had a chance to deal with those through your normal customer service channel. So I do stress that this widget is hard coded not to show those. So for example, um, the is that maybe the last comment which you've been received is a neutral comment um, then the last four positive comments will be shown to the customer in this widget. Moving on quickly, the next section is the detailed seller ratings. Uh, again, this is this widget is just like a mini report card for your eBay feedback page. So instead of the customer going to leave the eBay listing to go and check out your details on eBay, this widget brings those details to your customer in your product pages okay and again that could be on your about me page that could be in your ebay listing and again this is copy and paste code you could be using this on your own website as well so going back to the detailed seller ratings is that we can see our star ratings and the number of ratings uh, for each of the four key attributes in the DSRs and finally the, um, the lower part of this widget shows your recent feedback ratings again this is your eBay feedback report card and this seller has been and received uh, one, uh, 1012 positive feedbacks in the last, 12, uh, last month zero neutrals and zero negatives Okay. And again, there's a primary reason why you go up and check the seller, uh, and you go and click on their feedback. You're looking for this information, and again, this widget could be shown in your in, live in your eBay listings. Okay. Now moving on, let's go and have a look at a live example. Okay. If you uh, if you've seen enough and want to create yours for free, you can do go to lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash feedback widget. Okay. So that's feedback widget all in our case. Now I'm going to jump across there and you can see that I've come to lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash feedback widget. Okay. If you then scroll down and there's a section here called build your eBay feedback widget for free. Okay. And it's as simple as a, it's a simple five step, five uh, step process and I'll take you through it right now. So if you enter your eBay ID, so I'm just going to paste that eBay ID in there. You choose your eBay site. Now, if you primarily list on eBay.com, okay, in the United States and you choose eBay.com, maybe you're from Australia, Okay, you can choose ebay.com.au. Okay, that means all your links will update and the buyer will go to the local site where you've been and chosen here. Okay, next there's three very simple options. Okay, so if you would like to show the feedback comments, now I've got the example on the other tab. If you would like for those comments to appear just there, leave that ticked. If you would like the DSR table to appear, then leave that ticked. If you would like the feedback table to appear at the bottom, then leave that tick option there ticked. Okay. If you were to untick that, then it would disappear. If you untick them all, 
okay it will still show but it will just show this top little box at the top so you can bring your uh, your eBay ID and its associated icons dynamically into your eBay listings if that's what you want that's what you can have okay um, but if you do want just maybe the the top header bar and the DSRs or just the latest feedback comments you can do this you're in control with this okay then once you've chosen what you'd like in this case I'm going to tick all these three and I'm going to click create my feedback widget okay you'll be then given some code in this box if you press control A on your keyboard and then right click and copy and now we've got the code now for this example I'm just going to be using a, a simple HTML file if you wanted this to go into your live uh, uh, a live onto an eBay listing or into a new eBay listing you would go and create a new listing or a revise a live listing and then in the description tab on eBay if you click on the HTML tab scroll to the bottom of all the code and then paste it in there Okay, it's simple as that. Copy and paste. Just pop it in the HTML tab of your description. And if you get stuck at any point, there is support with this. Even though this, this, this is a free option, you can uh, uh, just go to the forums and go. If you go to the last drop of ink.co.uk, and at the top, there's a link which says go to forums. If you've got any questions, suggestions, or any feedback at all, I'd love to hear from you um, and just get in touch. Okay, so with our code copied there, okay, I'm just going to paste that into the example file and press save okay and I've got that open in a different tab I'm going to reload that okay um, and again this is a test environment so it's, up, it's updating uh, immediately for me okay now with the free version it is updated only once per every 24 hours okay a lot of the widgets which I've got for free on my site um, which I've you to free um, there, there's, there's several hundred sellers which use it um, across many thousands upon thousands of listings um, so I can only update it once per day and again that may be a reason why you might want to go to the paid version okay so just look at this live version in a little bit more detail so we can see the link to the eBay ID and again if that if, if your ID is Gardener's Dream UK then we'd see your eBay ID here we'd see your feedback we'd see your feedback star that you're a top rated seller your eBay shop and again if this seller or you have an about me page then that little about me icon would appear in here we can see the latest five feedbacks and again just to prove this is real I'm just going to go to that seller's feedback comment page hit refresh okay so fast and efficient delivery great eBay and many thanks go back to the example fast and efficient delivery great eBay and many thanks and again let me just stress it if you receive a neutral or negative comment they will not appear in that feedback box then just looking at the detailed seller ratings again 9590 uh, nine, uh, they've been pulled off there as well 9590 okay we can see the DSRs and again unlike eBay's version where they just got a little bit of a star for maybe 4.9 let's not mess around here uh, 4.9 is as good as uh, what we need to be for five stars so we just show five stars in there okay and then the recent feedback ratings at the bottom the report card down here so we can see the sellers reading received 1014 feedbacks in the pos positive comments in the last month zero neutral and zero negative um, and again this is updated every 24 hours in here okay and let's think about this what is the primary reason why a customer goes to your eBay feedback page it's to see what those neutrals and negatives are and again if I'm a buyer and I've seen this seller and they've had no neutrals or negatives in the past uh, one month and they've done over a thousand transactions I feel reassured because not only can I can see this in the listing I can see the DSRs and I can see the latest feedback and again this widget would be in your eBay listing so that when they're looking at the products which you're selling that they can see this information in a very simple report card fashion okay so let's just jump back and summarize what we've been looking at okay so with this widget you with simple copy and paste code and get that little creation page which we just used a few moments ago you can show your eBay feedback score and status so that's your eBay ID your shooting stars if you've got a shooting star um, your top rated seller status your about me page and a link to your eBay shop um, you can show the latest five eBay comments and again it will only ever show positive comments no multi um, negative or neutral comments and you can show your detailed seller ratings card and including the stars as well 
you can show your re recent eBay feedback ratings card, so your positive, your neutrals and your negatives for the last month, the last six months and the last 12 months. And again, this is a pick and choose model. You can pick or choose whichever one you'd like in here. If you just want the eBay feedback ratings, you can do and you can create yours for free at lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash feedback widget. Now, I did mention that there, that there is a paid for version. I'm just going to quickly run through these. This isn't the hard sell. There's a free version, and for the vast majority, it will work fine. Now, this is really just aimed at the users who want more control, and I'll just explain very briefly what these options are. The first one is that because this is self-hosted, um, self I've enabled a, a custom box in here. Now, you can add custom messaging in there. So let's think about this for a moment. Maybe you've got promotion for a product. Um, maybe it's Valentine's Day coming up and you want to include uh, maybe you're doing these heart cushions, for example. Can you imagine that little picture of an icon for a heart cushion and a little description next to it? So you, you can promote an item remotely outside of eBay. And again, because it's self-hosted, you can change the HTML in there. So as long as it's within eBay's rules, so a links rules is the obvious one, uh, then it's allowed to be done. Okay. Uh, so anything which you can put on eBay, you can put in that box there. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a seasonal message. Maybe Christmas is coming up, and you maybe got a seasonal item, just like the Valentine's item you you would like to push. Maybe you want a message around expediated delivery. Maybe it's cut off times. Um, maybe it's uh, snow, like we had in the UK two years ago, maybe three years ago, which crippled the the, the, the whole delivery network. Then you can provide up to date messaging in that custom message box if you'd like to. You also get complete control for a simple to use templating system. So each one of those sections, so the, the feedback comments, the DSR section, the feedback report card, is that you can control that using very simple HTML and keywords. So keywords like user ID in curly brackets, about me, if you want your eBay shop URL to appear, just put store URL. And again, I've done all the hard work in the background, so you don't have to worry about updating your eBay feedback star, for example, when you move to the next star, is that you just put feedback start rating star in and it will bring your latest star across um, and there's literally about 20 30 of these different keywords in there now I, I've designed this widget to to look just like an official eBay application uh, or app um, and that's on purpose so it looks familiar to customer uh, to the customer um, but maybe you can style it better and I bet you could probably could style it in a lot better than me um, and again you can edit your own style sheet so you get access to the cascading style sheet also, you can update the widget to uh, widget so it loads faster. And again, in the free version, it's only updated once per day. In the self-hosted version, you can change it to update once per second if you wanted to. Although I would strongly suggest, especially in higher volume accounts, so if you've got more than 200 listings, that you may want to set that up to maybe every 20 minutes, maybe every 30 minutes, so it updates automatically in the background. Or if every half a day is fine for you, just set it as so. Okay. Maybe you don't like the credit links at the bottom. Again, this is a templated version. You get complete control over the templates and you can remove those at the bottom. And finally, and again, this is probably the big one for me personally, is that with the self-hosted um, widget, is that your widget will load faster than the free version. Now, the free version is in shared hosting. Um, like several other minor widgets, it literally gets hundreds of thousands of page views every single day my web hosting can only do so much and especially if you're not in the United Kingdom maybe you're in the United States in Europe um, maybe in Asia or in Australia for example then if it's in your own hosting then it's only ever going to serve your widget with your information and it's going to load much much faster okay now um, it doesn't matter if you choose the paid version or the free version uh, go and try it right now uh, you can try it for free and that's it lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash feedback widget and if you would like complete control and again if you're a larger business if you've got more than 200 listings then I would suggest you might want to have a look at the, this widget and some of the other widgets which I've got available at lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash store. Again, if you've got any feedbacks, comments or suggestions, I'd very much love to hear from you and you can find more about me and you can leave me that feedback at lastdropofink.co.uk 
Um, and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Cheerio!